Jim Caviezel reveals what Disney told him to do with references to God in Count of Monte Cristo. Actor Jim Caviezel, a vocal Christian in a business not noted for its concerns for religion, revealed recently what took place behind the scenes of a Disney movie. That's right, the Lord is exposing it all. Caviezel had landed the role of Edmond Dantes in the adaptation of the Alexandre Dumas novel and found himself battling Disney executives over one word. They wanted me to remove God from all of the script. True story. What happened to God? God will give me justice, he said, quoting the book. I had to say no, I can't do this, he said. The response was vintage liberal Hollywood. Disney said, oh, so you're one of those? I said, one of those what? One of those who rewrite Alexandra Dumas? One of those who rewrite Shakespeare? Because that's essentially what you did. So Jim is saying the book in which the movie he's filming is adapted for, the quote in the book said, God will give me justice. And Disney said, ah, uh, 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 you can't, you can't use the G word. You can't say God. And so when he said, no, uh, I am going to say God, it's in the book. Disney said, oh, so you're one of those. You're one of those, what? You're one of those Christians. So thank God, Jim, he said he held his ground and by God, they backed off. Wow. But you know, they probably put a little black sticker next to his name. One of those. Caviezel said believers have to be, quote, strong Christians like that. That's right. Hold your ground when you have to, to say we're not buying that product anymore. That's right. Disney, back off. It's in the book. You got a problem with it? Talk to the author of the book. Before I continue reading the rest of this article, I want to say a quick thank you to the sponsor of this video. Noble Gold Investments is pleased to let you know that gold is the best investment class for 2023. Real estate, crypto, stocks, and bonds, gold outperformed them all in 2022. So what are you waiting for? Noble Gold Investments has helped thousands of clients buy real physical gold. Open a gold IRA or a silver IRA with Noble Gold Investments this month and receive a free one quarter ounce American Eagle coin with every qualifying purchase. Find out more at noblegoldinvestments.com. Again, that's noblegoldinvestments.com. I'm not changing the script. Okay, so the, I mean, you guys, this is in your face. Disney told them to get rid of this line, any line with the word God in it from the script. But you can talk about Lucifer. You can talk about the devil. You can talk about homosexuality. You can talk about transgender. You can talk about everything. You can talk about the devil, Lucifer, no problem. But you cannot say the G word. You cannot say God. Unbelievable. But at the same time, believable. Unfortunately, these are the times that we're living in. So thank you, Caviezel, for everything you're doing. Thank you for standing up for Jesus. Thank you for standing up for God. Not many actors or actresses stand up for God. You know, I remember watching all of these award shows as a kid, MTV, VMAs, all these shows, the Grammys. You know, when I was a kid, I, I watched a lot of TV as a kid. And you would see them always giving God the glory. You'd always see I just want to first and foremost, thank my God. Thank Jesus. You, you see them say, do you see that anymore? I don't. I see satanic rituals on TV and at the award shows, which I don't watch anymore. I see the clips on Twitter. They don't talk about God anymore. They, the only few, few people such as Chris Pratt and a few, few others will give God the glory. And they will say, thank you, Jesus. Right. Thank you, God. Right. You have a God has a plan for your life. And you just don't see that anymore. And so no wonder you can't even say it in the scripts anymore. You can't even say it in the movies anymore. You can't say it in the movies. You can't say it on the award shows. All you have is debauchery and evil and the devil. You have shows on TV called Lucifer. You have blood and gore and all that stuff on TV and you have violence. That's why people are so numb. That's why when you see a video of someone on Twitter, someone is being attacked in the subway, being raped and killed and no one steps in, everyone's just watching. It's because people are so numb. They have been numbed down because of all the violence and gore on TV. They think they're watching a movie because all they do is watch movies. All they do is watch Netflix. They're so numb. It's like zombie world, right? It's like the walking dead. I mean, really, you're walking around. People are dead. The Bible says you're dead in your sins, right? But the wages of sin is death, right? 
So everyone's walking, really is the walking dead. Thank God we have Jesus, who's the resurrection life. Thank you, Lord. Totally renew my mind. Totally cleanse me. And like the veil lifted and I can see the world now. I'm thinking, what planet are people living on? I mean, people are so blind and deceived. And the Bible says they're, they're blind. They're blind to what is happening. They're blind to the spiritual realm. They're blind to their own state of living in sin. So praying for those people. And again, thank you, Jim Caviezel for standing up to Disney. Awesome. That is a man of God. That is the boldness of the Lord. That's why he's called out for such a time as this. And many others watching right now, you guys are called out. Thank you for standing up for Jesus. Thank you for standing up for God, not in a angry, passionate way, but in a loving, convicted, courageous way that God tells us to stand up and do with courage, not with fear. The Bible says, be courageous, be of good cheer. <laughs> Don't be a coward, be courageous and do not fear.